At 8 o'clock, we got UAPB, University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, who went 3-8 and eight last year. Traveling to Tulsa, who went 5-7, and seven, barely missed out on a bowl game. Tulsa favored by 42 points on ESPN+. Plus. Davis Brin, who's an underrated quarterback in the American, went 148 at 250, threw for 2,138 yards and 17 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. Daenerys Prince on the ground had 126 carries, 729 yards and 5 touchdowns, and if they want to win, the Golden Hurricane want to win more this year, they got to get more production off the ground game. Keelan Stokes on the ground had 76, uh, through the air, had 76 catches for 1,224 yards and 8 touchdowns. Tulsa was not a bad football team last year. This was not a bad American team, just got some bad luck at certain points. Um, and that's going to be interesting to try and overcome if you're a Golden Hurricane fan is how you win the games that you could have won last year. You got unlucky at certain points. You should have been at least a bowl game team last year. You weren't. Um, this is a decent Tulsa Hurricane team. This is a this is a great chance to tune up. Like I was saying earlier with South Dakota, Missouri, UAPB should give Tulsa absolutely no trouble. This was a bad FCS team last year. University of Arkansas Pine Bluff is not a good football team. They did not get better. Um, so what's going to be really interesting here is this is not a good UAPB team. You should run through them. There's a reason why you're favored by 42 points. It's a great opportunity to tune up. You're going to be heading into a tough American year, which American conference is in the air, right? Like, outside of Tulane, there isn't a front runner because Cincinnati has left, Houston left, and UCF has left, which, again, Memphis and SMU still exist in this universe. It's not like they have suddenly gone away, but since Sunny Dykes have left SMU and since Mike Norvell has lost Memphis, they've definitely lost their, their esteem that you would once hold them in. So outside of Tulane... This is really a wide open conference, and Tulsa is a team that should be trying to compete for that. I think this could be game could be really interesting. Give me Tulsa to win and Tulsa to cover the 42 point spread.